Hey guys, Matt here, and I'm back with another PowerShell tutorial. Today we'll be going over a bulk user creation. It's a great thing to have, a great thing to use all the time in large companies. Uh, a lot of times HR will provide you with a CSV file containing all the user's information, such as first name, last name, middle initial, description, manager, uh, phone number, work phone, cell phone, all kinds of information. So if you open up a user account in Active Directory, you can add any of this information with PowerShell and create a user account. One of the great things about this is it's one of the things you just set it, forget it. You can create a shortcut button and just, you know, paste in your CSV file in a certain location and then just click a button and every week you're just creating user accounts without even having to do anything. So in this company, in our domain, we're going to be creating it under this folder, ENT users. So under the ENT users, we're going to create 20 test accounts. So we have our CSV file. It is located under our documents folder. Let me go ahead and show that real fast. So documents, PowerShell, input files. So we have test users at CSV. And the only thing ours contains is the username. Uh, so in our script, we're going to custom create in the script a description so we know the date the count was created. Even though you can pull this information from Active Directory, it's easy to view it in the window when you're in Active Directory and you're wondering, you know, well, there's no information. wonder when this guy was created. Is he even, you know, supposed to be still enabled? So it's a good way to, you know, visually see things. Also, you know, and bulk disabling accounts. You could use CSV files also and have it modify the descriptions and the date the account was disabled. And an easy way to do that is you can use the get date command within your PowerShell script. And you can, you know, do dash F or dash format. And you can change, the, you know, month, month, day, 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 year, 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 year. And then, boom. So you can add that in your description or you can add dashes to it or however you like to customize it. So now you can have the date every time the script is ran and to get the date first and then add that to the description, which is a nice little feature. So for today, we're going to create 20 test accounts in the ENT users OU. And here's our script. So the first one, I created a variable called CSV. And I said to the location where our CSV file is located. So if your CSV file location ever changes, you just have to paste it here. You don't have to read through code and try to find out where it's at. The next thing is OU. So the OU is the location of what OU we're going to create the accounts in. Um, so with this, this is the distinguished name attribute from Active Directory. And one way I like getting this is I like copy and paste because I see people do typos all the time and try troubleshooting it. So an easy way to do this is in Active Directory you want to turn on advanced features. If you don't have advanced features on and you go to the properties of the OU you only see three tabs. General, Manage By, and Com Plus. So if you go in here and enable advanced features and you drill back down to that folder, go to properties, you have more tabs. You have general, managed by, object, security, com plus, and attribute editor. We want attribute editor. And if you click on distinguished name, you can double click on it or go to view either way. And you can't edit this field at all, so it's not too dangerous to be in here. And as you see, when you open it up, it's already highlighted, so you can just copy this out. And then you can just cancel out. And then you can just go in here and paste it in. So you can just go in here and just... Now you don't have to hand type that and you know there's no typos. So that's the way I like to do it. The next thing we'll do is we're going to get the date in our format that we want. We're going to store it in the date variable. And we'll use this later for our description. And then in our description, we do test account created on dollar $date. So it's going to place in the date value. And then... For the actual script, it's going to import CSV. So this dollar CSV is this path. So import this file, and then it's going to 
store it in the users. So now every single one of our test user accounts is going to be stored in the users. So if we take this all right here, we can just copy this and paste it in the PowerShell. And then hit enter. So now if we type $CSV, it's going to show us the path to our CSV file. If we were just to take import $CSV and paste it in, it would list our users. And then what we're doing on the last line is we're just storing that in the users. So we're just doing $users equals that. And then now when you type in $users, you have the all that and stored in users. The next thing you want to do is you want to create a for each loop. So for each user and users. So this is the individual username. So it goes through each one, one at a time. So user one, test user one, then test user two, test user three. And notice in our CSV file, the column is name. So you want to make sure that follows the variable in your code. So here we have user.name, so it knows to grab the name attribute. So if you had an, another field called description, comma description, you would do $user.description. And it would pull the description value, so on and so forth. So, right now we're using name. So, what we're doing is we're writing outputs of the screen. So, it's going to write to the PowerShell window, creating, and then the username. Next, it's going to say new ad user dash name, user dot name, and then I use a back tick so we can go to the next line down. Next thing is account dash account password. So, we're going to convert it to a secure string the password, which this is not recommended to have clear text in your script. So there's other ways of doing this with get dash credentials, which I'll probably show in a new video later on. You want to do a dash as plain text and dash force. And notice we have that in parentheses, so it's kind of like a math problem. So this goes first, this runs first, and then it gets put in the account password. Same with the get date. This runs first. It gets the date information, and then that gets stored into dollar date. The next line, the account's going to be enabled. That's true. The path of the account is going to be equal to dollar OU, so it's going to be in our location. And then description is going to be the description. So description is going to be test account created on dollar date. So let's go ahead and paste this in and see what happens. So we'll just copy this code, clear our screen and we'll paste it in and we'll hit enter so it created all of our test accounts, no errors we go back to ENT users there we go all of our test accounts have been created we don't have first or last names or anything but you could always add that later so that is how you bulk create accounts it's pretty simple if you have any questions please comment below and Thank you for viewing.